Hello, my name is Jack, and the new Tekkit has just been released, so I've decided to do a Let's Play series on it. So Tekkit's now been updated for Minecraft 1.5.1, which is cool, so there's now all the nice redstone stuff, and uh, the uber skeletons, and all the other things that have been added recently, and um, there's 66 mods in this version, so there's plenty of stuff to do. I guess the main mod that's been introduced is... Galacticraft, and that's what our series is going to be based around, because this is called Tekkit, A New Frontier, because the objective of this series is to travel to the moon, because you can make spaceships and, like, travel to planets and, like, colonize on them and pick up stuff, I don't really know, to be honest, but I know we can get to the moon, I know that that is an achievable goal, so let's create the world, it'll take a while because of all the new ores and stuff that need to be made, uh, here we are, what the... Um, oh, so we're in a jungle. I got a bit of a shock there when we just spawned right in front of this vine on cobblestone. Um, so I guess we'll just do the normal stuff for now. And we shall make a uh, some tools. So we're going to chop down this tree, which is taking ages because I don't have anything to chop it down with. And we're going to make a, uh, a crafting table, a wooden pickaxe, you know, the usual score. And then we'll pick up some of this uh, exposed cobblestone that's around us right now uh, also this is the new inventory screen so you can see it's slightly different so this is just the same you can put your armor on here but over here this is where you can put all of this stuff for Galacticraft because obviously if you're going to be traveling through space you need like an astronaut suit on so obviously otherwise you'll just suffocate so there's like air tanks and stuff to be honest I've no idea uh, this is a parachute I'm pretty sure uh, and now the crafting thing is down here which is something I'm gonna have to get used to so let's get a crafting table made. Uh, this episode's not going to be too long. Just just maybe 10 minutes or so because obviously I want to make sure that you guys actually want to see me play Tekkit rather than me like make... Oh why? <laughs> why did I just make a second? Son of a gun. Stupid Jack is stupid. I just made a crafting bench from a crafting bench because I am a total noob. That's what I was aiming for. I guess I shouldn't be talking about something else whilst whilst crafting. That's the life lesson for today, guys. Don't talk about something else whilst crafting. Right, we're just going to pick up this so we can make a wooden sword, uh, a wooden pickaxe, not a wooden pickaxe, a stone sword, a stone pickaxe, and a furnace. And then we're just going to like aim to get an iron pickaxe, maybe. I know it's a, it's a pretty uh, hardcore goal, like guys. But yeah, if we can get an iron pickaxe made for today, and maybe if I can just show you some of the new stuff that's in Tekkit, then... Um, We'll end off the episode, and if it gets enough of a positive response, let's say 20, 20 likes, then I'll make another episode. Because it's pointless me make, recording tons of episodes, uploading the first one, and you guys just giving it a ton of, ton of dislikes and just not enjoying it. Because otherwise I've just wasted my time. But hopefully you guys will enjoy it, because uh, I really enjoy it. I, I played the old version of Tekkit for quite a while with some of my friends, but obviously I didn't record it because I wasn't making videos at the time. Um... But I had loads of fun. I, I sort of mainly used equivalent exchange, which has been removed or at least nerfed in this version. Uh, I can actually show you all of the stuff that's in this. If I press all, this brings up not enough items. Um, so this is all of the items. So obviously on page one, this is the vanilla stuff that's always here. Although there is some uh, monster spawners. I have no idea what evolved zombies are, but they sound pretty intense. Uh, locked chest as well. That's there with the weird. I don't know why there's a. Is that some kind of texture error? I don't really know. But anyway, we go on the second page, or at least the third page, and we start seeing lots of new things like item collectors, weather collectors, breezes, I don't know what this stuff is, resonant ender, like uh, mining turtles, I know what they are, they're awesome, we're definitely going to make one of them at some point. Cross bro, that's part of the, uh, did I say cross bro? Cross bro, dude. Uh, that's a cross bow, which is part of um, a weapons mod, I can't remember the actual name. Uh, loads of loads and loads of stuff basically so we've got plenty to get going with um let's get this furnace made and uh we're gonna try and get out of this jungle i'm kind of wanting to find a a plains biome because they're sort of the easiest to build in um so hopefully we can this isn't going to be too difficult to navigate i didn't select large biomes or anything which means it shouldn't be too long before we manage to escape uh, I, I mean, oh, there's a cave there, so let's just see if there's anything of interest in it. Uh, just some weird lighting glitches. Uh, there we go. No, no exposed ore as of yet. Although we could go down here, probably. What's this? 
this looks like a new ore. Um, so what's this? See if I can mine it with a stone pickaxe. I can. Uh, this is Certus Quartz. That sounds pretty awesome. So we'll, we'll mine that up. I have no idea what it does. Cause, so I'm, I'm going to need your guys' help in this series because I'm just sort of a bit of a noob to this. There's loads of new items which I... Oh god, um, uh, what am I doing? Let's get some cobblestone down. Don't burn me please, bro. Don't burn me, bro. <laughs> Let's see if we can just block this off. I know it won't completely disappear, but we can make a start at it. Because I see some iron over there. Also, Optifine's not installed on this for some reason. Which I really don't understand. Unless I'm just screwing up and uh, you need to like click a button to activate Optifine. But it's not on. Which uh, I know this because if I go into my menu and I go into video settings... This is just the vanilla, like, render distance setting thing, where on Optifine you can sort of drag it, so it's, like, a little bit more specific. Um, so that's annoying, actually, that Optifine's not installed, and I'm, I'm, I wish that it was. But never mind, there's loads of other cool stuff in this. I know that uh, Dimensional Doors, that's also in this, that allows you to, like, teleport around, and I, I think there's also, like, lots of different dimensions which are involved with their uh, Mistcraft, I think that's a thing. But yeah, so we're going to experiment with all of this stuff, just... I'll just do what you guys tell me to, basically. Uh, but the main goal is to travel the moon and place a flag with our face on. Onto that moon, meaning we've officially conquered it. I think there's stuff up there, like... Uh, generated structures and... New ores and minerals and all that good stuff. And um, let's just get... All this coal, and now let's head to this, um... That iron. Now, should I just place that there? Uh, yeah. I think we're safe, to be honest. We'll mine this up with our wooden pickaxe because we're probably not going to use it. In fact, let's just chuck this away. Uh, there's no point in one of them anymore. So we're going to mine this up. Hopefully there's going to be three. Uh, one. Yeah, there is. Brilliant. Maybe there'll be even more than three. That'd be great. And there is. Uh, is there four? Nope, oh, there's five. So we can actually make a, uh, a sword as well. That's great, actually. Um, what am I doing? Right, I need to place this furnace down so we can get the stuff smelted. Luckily we've got some iron, not some iron, some uh, coal, well we do have iron. Um, now let's sort of get rid of this lava, because I, I have a feeling it's going to be the death of me. Wait, what's this? Oh, so I guess the the quartz or drops quartz dust and and normal quartz. Um, hopefully some of you guys will be able to tell me what the hell quartz is used for. Uh, actually, you know what we can do? I think if we press R, it tells you, oh, so that tells you how you make it. But there's a there's a key you can press which tells you all of the stuff you can make with it. So if we if we uh, just type in quartz because I don't remember what what key that is, uh, quartz. So you can make uh, we can make blocks. Um, we can make. So these look like tools. I, I wonder if they're yeah. So we could actually make a could we make a tool right now? Um, no, we don't quite have enough. We need one more. So I, I suppose it's just used for tools. I wonder if it's better or worse than iron. Um, I guess it's just this is all just about experimenting, really. I wonder if there's anything interesting down here. It looks like it might just be a dead end. But oh, I thought it fell in for a second there. Uh, let's come on, get rid of this. Um, right there we go. That should get rid of it. Uh, let's actually make some torches as well. We'll go for two so we can get eight. I'm pretty sure. Yep, there we go. So it's very dark in here now, um, so is this a dead end? Uh, no it's not, oh and there's actually some uh, some more quartzy stuff here, so we'll pick that up. And I think we should be able to make a, a pickaxe now, so we'll make our first Tekkit item of uh, Tekkit A New Frontier. I mean, we're spoiled for choice really guys, because not only do we have iron, but we also have quartz. I wonder which is better. There's only one way to find out. Just test them both on some cobblestone. There we go. Quartz pickaxe, guys. Um, let's check the speed of this out. That was reasonably fast. Now let's make a... Uh, one of these. What, what are they? Uh, pickaxes, that's right. You'd think I'd know that by now. So they look very similar in the... In the uh, in the hot bars. Uh, so this is with a quartz. And this is with iron. To be honest, I, I'm pretty sure they're probably just basically the same. But I don't know, maybe maybe it's got like some special powers or something, I don't really know. Uh, is there anything through here? There's some more quartzy doodles, so we'll take some of that. So it gives us dust, I wonder what the difference is. And it looks like there's something down here as well. 
Uh, oh, what's this? This is uh, copper, so that can be used for lots of build craft stuff, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I think I'm going to get this sword made, because I've still got some left. And I think that is, guys, can conclude our first episode of Tekka A New Frontier. So, thank you guys very much for watching. If you want to see more, then like I said, give this video a like. If it gets, what should we say, we'll go for 20. If it gets 20 likes, then I'll record the next episode. And you never know, maybe we'll end up on the moon. Hopefully we pro can progress. If you've got any tips for stuff that I should make, because I don't really have much of a clue, then post them in the comments. And I will see you later, guys. Thanks very much for watching. My name's Jack. This is the new Tekka, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!